Stolen Valor? I mean, it's it's a knife called the Valor, and, and I didn't I didn't pay for it. I'm just bad at this. I should stop. This is the Ferrum Forge Design Valor. So you know we have um, another Ferrum Forge that I just got that is kind of similar called the Aloris. And the difference is the Ferrum Forge design is licensed. I think I explained it in this video, but so the designs are licensed to another company. This one is licensed to Artisan to be sold. So you can see Ferrum Forge designs. And then this is a Ferrum Forge in-house uh, design uh, pro series that they sell on their website. So we got that out of the way. At any rate, this came, I got to see this prototype. Yeah, I got blood on me. Hang on just a second. There we go. I cut myself a little bit earlier. <laughs> um, so this came in from Artisan, and this is a very good knife. Artisan does really good work. So Elliot designed this for Artisan uh, to be sold by Artisan, and then he gets, you know, just, just like with my, my Sea Snake design, he gets royalties. So very, very typical uh, Ferrum Forged Knife Works design uh language in this knife. Uh, it reminds me a lot of a knife that they sold called the Dow that they did through uh, Mass Drop, now called Drop. Uh, and it's a very similar blade shape, but much different knife, very similar blade shape. It's almost like an upgraded enlarged version. So at any rate, this is done in S35VN. It is the first I've had it in my pocket. I did the unboxing, but this is the first I've had it in my pocket. And it's kind of hard to find time to have stuff in pocket, but I will tell you, the action on this one is amazing. It is super, super slick, smooth. Um, I have not done a lot of cutting and stuff with it because I do have to send this back. This is one of the ones that I have to send back to Russell. But um, so this knife is in S35VN, which is a... Uh, Artisan does a really good job with their S35VN. The only issue I really have with it is it's way thicker. And I think I got spoiled by the Allurus because this is way thicker behind the edge. So we'll when we get around to the full review, we'll look at it. Uh, the action on this is just stunning at how smooth it is. Uh, Artisan on their higher end stuff, the action is just amazing. I haven't done anything on this. But... Like I said, we're going to do some size comparisons, so uh, let's go ahead and break out a couple knives. The first one is the Chris Reeves Sabenza, and as you can see, they're kind of similar in size. This is not a real small knife, uh, so the Sabenza is just a little bit longer, maybe about a half an inch longer, quarter of an inch. Uh, there's some parallax there, so the next one we're going to look at is the... Microtech DOC, only because you guys haven't got to see it in a while. It just came back from coal. So much smaller than the DOC. The DOC is a monster of a knife, huge, just in all dimensions. We're not even going to try and set it next to it. It is so much smaller. I just hadn't had this out in a video for a while, and I know you guys like to see it. So, And the final knife we're going to use as a reference is the Spider Co. Endura, because that's a pretty well-known knife. And as you can see, it's a good bit shorter. So not a real long knife. I'll look at it on the scale here. You're looking at just, looks just at eight inches on the scale. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Guys, I hate to interrupt the video because I know we're having fun, but I do have to do the YouTuber thing and remind you that this channel is self-sponsored with all the affiliate links and stuff you see down below. Anything from knives, tools, EDC gear, and uh, Blade HQ, anything, all the Amazon links, they all support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything at checkout. So I'll talk about that at the end of the video. Now let's go back to the knives. So like I said, I have not done a lot of cutting with this so far. It's just been kind of an in the pockets fidgeting kind of thing so far because I, I'm trying to be real careful with it. Uh, I don't believe this is an actual prototype. I think this is the version that they are selling. Um, I, I'm not like I like a I like a poppy pivot. I like having things done, but I like the ones that are done by. Um, Tucson, way better. Tucson has got some really attractive pivots that they use. Hang on a second, I can grab one and show you. I would much prefer that style pivot. Um, it's an attractive, don't get me wrong, it's attractive, it catches your eye, but I just, I'm not as big a fan of that pivot. Um, but everything on this done really well, all the hardware is great, you did a full 
actual backspacer. This is not a two-piece design. This is three-piece uh, backspace. Well, technically four if you count the pocket clip, but you have the backspacer, two scales, and this. And then you have, of course, your blade, which I'm not considering handle construction. Um, like I said, action on it is great. In and out of pocket, the pocket clip is really good. Um, it does have a sharp spot here, but it's been chamfered really well, and it's hidden hardware on the pocket clip. Um, hidden hardware on a pocket clip is pretty cool, uh, but if you want to change your pocket clip without taking the knife apart, you're kind of beat, uh, but there is no reversible pocket clip on this. I love the fact that Elliot does not use lanyard holes on his knives. So uh, jimping on this, as I would expect from a Ferrum Forge design, is really sharp. Um, the finish on the blade is done with a really fine stone wash. You can still see some of the grind lines. Um, really common um, in these scoop, like these scalloped out, like swept plunges. Uh, it is really common that you're gonna see those grind lines, which is why I always just did a straight plunge when I would make a knife. It just made it so much easier to clean that area up. Uh, if you use a fixtured system, you've got a nice flat area here. And I love the fact that they carried this design through uh, it gives it a very futuristic look on both sides. Um, the the cutout here, uh, the, I'm sorry, the milling here for aesthetics is really attractive. It gives the knife an overall look and feel that you would expect from a Ferrum Forge knife. And before I go any further, a lot of people have asked where I get these mats. If I'm doing a Ferrum Forge knife, you're going to see this mat and most other knives. I get them from nafs.com. I meant to mention that at the very beginning. Um, so you can stop asking. Uh, nafs.com is where I get these uh, mats from. This one actually was a gift from boys over at Fair and Forge. So yeah, really cool looking swept design on this blade. It's kind of a modified, it's kind of a modified Warren Cliff, um, just like the Dow and the, uh, what was the other one that I have? The Buck. They, they shared the same edge profile, but had a different spine. This is basically just a, a clip down version of a I, I, it's kind of a modified Warren Cliff, almost maybe a drop point, spear point. Um, it's really hard, you know, once you start getting into all these weird, you know, cutouts and there's so many different, it's like, this is basically just a nice bellied edge. It does not have a lot of flat though. It's like a drop point. It's got this belly. It does not have a lot of flat. It's pretty round all the way around. Um, internal to this knife, there is no... Uh, weight reduction in here, but the fact that they took this much material out does do a lot of weight reduction. So, like I said, this is just the first day I've carried it. I'm really impressed with the action. It cuts really, really well on the stuff I've cut with it, soft stuff like that, but um, I have not cut any heavy-duty cardboard yet, so I don't know how it holds up to that, but in hand, super comfortable in hand. You get a really good grip on it, and I said, like, like I said, you've got this jimping up here that is really, it, it's not been softened to a point where it's not there. You get these chamfers here. So you do get a good look. And like I said, this is, this is pretty much us just doing a walk around. The finger choil up here, I think it doesn't feel as large on this finger choil as it does on this one. And it isn't. So you got a lot of different things between um, these designs and things like that. But this is, I mean, you have a finger choil you can get up on, but this is another knife that like you're basically going to be probably pinch gripping it or up on it cutting like this so yeah guys uh that's about all i got on this one um just uh keeping just to give you guys a heads up this came in and we'll get a video here in the next couple days i'm hoping um it's already in my pocket so i have to film my first day in pockets but hopefully you'll get to see this in a couple days this knife is for sale and we're going to discuss that in the video i shoot about it just a quick kind of teaser trailer so all right guys let's turn this around do some final thoughts there you go guys the artisan valor designed by ferrum forge it's it's a fun knife i really am enjoying it i think though it's a cross. I think we're going to have to do a side-by-side -side with the Pro Series Aloris. I think the action on this is smoother, but I think overall the Aloris might be more of a knife that 
like a better knife for me. So we'll see. I also have a side-by-side. -side. I have a Nimble and a Nimble XL here. So we're going to look at both of those. We'll do a side-by-side -side on that. That'll be fun. So guys, that's it on this one. If you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but please try to tell me why. I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. If you want to support the channel, it's as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the bell icon. If you do hit the bell icon, make sure you've got notifications turned on your device or you will not get notified of the three things I put up a day, seven days a week, I or five days a week. I believe that might change. I did a poll. Looks like more people want to see one video a day, seven days a week, and I'll work on trying to get to just two videos a day. So guys, um, if you want to support the channel financially, uh, there's a handful of ways you can do it. I did the intermission where I talk about the affiliate links. They're all down below. You can purchase knives like this through all of my affiliate links down below, Blade HQ, Amazon, things like that. And for knives that I know I can find an affiliate link for that supports the channel, I will put it in the comments of the video and the description. Uh, other ways you can do it, I have a membership down below that's tier-based. Pick the tier that gets you what you want out of the channel and out of the membership. But remember, everyone saves $5 off my sharpening service. Everyone has access to my Gilded server. Baseline and premium tier members are entered automatically entered giveaways that I do on the Gilded server. And premium tier members have access to a sharpening tutorial series. And the final way is I have a merchandise store on Ember Shirt Co. where you can pick up my shirts with my logo. Um, I've set up a coupon code that works anywhere on Ember Shirt Co. That coupon code is Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp. Saves you 10% at checkout anywhere on Ember Shirt Code. If you send me pictures of you wearing my merchandise, I will put them in a video. Guys, I love y'all. Keep it clean in the comments section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I will see you in the next video.